Uh, obviously, disappointing to come away with the loss, but gutty performance. I think, if we're being honest, we've played them twice now, and uh, both times we've given them a right good game. Uh, you see tonight, we've, we've played the, probably the better football at times. They went a bit more kind of one, uh, route one. Uh, didn't put us under too much pressure, but thought we dealt with it, and it's just they're a good side. They're going to take chances at the end of the day. And, the keepers made a great save for me near the end, yeah, maybe when you sneak a point, it, but fairly tough with the way we played, you've got to be happy with that, especially coming through here with the situation that they're in, one game for the league, so I, all in all, I think positive night to take away. So. And another goal for you as well, it's 27 for the season, was that something you expected well, to reach I think uh, the start? at the end of last season, uh, I was told on no certain terms that there was a quite a big record to uh, there was 27 was the record for the top goal scorer at Hoyk uh, of all time so I think at the start of the season secretly that was my, my yeah. target and I mean if I'm being honest didn't they, <laughs> didn't really maybe expect anything tonight um, but to it come so early in the game settled me down a wee bit and I'm just delighted to reach that personal target of mine which has been good so I, uh, and uh, East Stirling's on Saturday in a tough game yeah. definitely take confidence for this going I in think Especially at home, we're, we're used to the park now, it's not the best condition at the moment. Uh, they'll no fancy coming down later on a Saturday as well, a late kick-off. Um, with East Kilbride now pretty much wrapped up the league, fingers crossed, uh, they might have taken their eye off the ball and hopefully we can pick up uh, three points on Saturday against East Stirling, so we'll be definitely be trying our hardest. After winning promotion to the Championship last season, I spoke to Air United's Michael Rose and Daryl Meggett to get their thoughts on Saturday's match with Falkirk and their survival hopes. Uh, after you drawing the last time you played Falkirk, do you think you have it in you to go one better this time when you play them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think the boys, not just myself, but I think all the boys are more than confident that we can get a result. Obviously, I say like it's going to be hard. Falkirk are a good team, but um, I think yeah, definitely on the back of a win, I think we can go and kick on. And after that game, you play three other teams in the bottom half. Are those games that you specifically target, or is it just kind of one game at a time that you just look at it? one game at a time. We don't want to look too ahead, because then you can get kind of carried away. But yeah, just one game at a time. But we know every game's going to be massive, so we need to go into every game with the right attitude, and hopefully we can get all the points we need. Uh, well, you've been uh, ninth in the table at the moment. Is it that something you expected coming into the season, and how do you feel with the position you're in at the moment? Uh, not at all. Um, to, be, to be quite honest with you, I feel as if we've got enough in the tank and the players as well to play the league. We've proved it against the bigger teams this year that we can get results, so things will start picking up, I'm pretty sure of it. And do you think with like, the penalty shootout wins in the Cup shows that when it comes out in the crunch under pressure that he's capable of getting the win when it's needed? Oh, definitely. Oh, that's, that's actually better than the keeper. He's, I think he's got a great record. He's saved 14 out of 16 penalties or something, so that kind of... Says it all, it's down to him. So the overall feeling is optimism in the air camp, heading into Saturday's game and also for the rest of the season. Ronan Alexander, UWS News. The Scottish football landscape is dominated by Celtic and Rangers, with no other club having won the league in over 30 years. However, Scottish football is changing and with Leicester winning the league in England, the idea of a club outside the old firm doing the same in Scotland is a burning question. We spoke to Lewis Grant, the managing director of local team Air United, to get his views. Apart from an occasional game when the team play well above themselves and get lucky, it's absolutely impossible to compete with the strength of the old firm, the financial strength of the old firm, because football nowadays is very much a numbers game. Money shared amongst teams, or the lack of it rather, seems to be the thing holding smaller clubs back. No, I don't think there will be any change to Rangers and Celtic always being the people to win. I think the money is distributed wrongly throughout, so the small clubs really don't get any chance of having the ability to buy players and the support teams that are required. Lack of funds to buy skilled players was a thing picked up on by Leslie. Players are the most important part of any club. Without a good squad, a club's chances of success are slim. Celtic season ticket holder Stephen agreed. Uh, I don't think it's possible for a smaller team to win the league in Scotland, especially the way uh, Celtic squads um, expanded all the time. And we were going to say almost a belly for multi millions, so there will be even more money to spend. The chances of a club the size of Air even reaching the top flight remain slim, but as Leicester City showed down south, anything is possible. <laughs> 